always be able to have, like I talked about last night, having a short memory, right? It's all about that internal dialogue that you have with yourself to be able to say, okay, all right, this day is not going so great. I've got to make something happen. Remember, every successful person has a painful story. Everyone. Every single one of them. So don't feel that, that if you're in a painful place right now that it can't end up uh, as a successful story. That's, that's the key, and that is resiliency. And that internal dialogue, that personal temperature, yeah. that private gallery, is, is generally what people don't want to address. Be able to, to control um, your environment. It's, it's all about controlling being able to control what happens to you, being able to make an impact on your own life, and being able to control this, like that's that's what that's what mastering your life is all about. That's what living um, living a, a purpose to me, a purpose driven life, but a life that that can't be affected by external forces because internally you're freaking rock solid, right? And that's being able to have that internal dialogue with yourself. Tom Shea that we had on the podcast, who Rebecca, um, uh, Dr. Heiss, I'm sorry, um, who had intro uh, introduced Joseph and I to, uh, that's all he talks about. It's, it's the main focus is this internal dialogue, this dialogue that's going on in your brain. Um, you may not realize it, but it happens. It's this dialogue that's all day long going on. The idea of being impeccable with your word to me is, has been so huge in my transformation over the last few years and auditing the things that I would say to myself. Yeah. Say to myself, um, realizing the power of the words that you have over yourself. Right. Uh, using words like never and always <laughs> right. and things like that. Yep. And to me it was just, I looked at it from the beginning as just the law of attraction. But there's so much more to that internal dialogue than people realize right. and people don't realize that they're sabotaging their day, sabotaging their career, sabotaging right. their relationships, not because of the conversation that they're having with those people, but the internal dialogue they're having with themselves before they even get to the point to have a conversation exactly. with somebody else. Right. And that's the ultimate encouragement to everyone is that um, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of place that you're in, that, that you have the ability to get yourself out of the situation. Right. 100%, it may take help, uh, from another, but it'll be you taking help um, from you going to, to get, get yourself. It. Yeah, and that's and we've talked about that kind of stuff in the past. We're like, well, this thing happened to me. Was this my fault? And you know, these things that have happened is my fault. It's only your fault if you stay in it. You know, it's yeah. only your fault if you let it trap you. If you yep. let it keep you from where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm.